hi everyone welcome to today's lesson <coughs> okay today i want to discuss the work that you did um, previously this is in your english workbook page 42 page 42 so your get smart 4 activity book okay your workbook page 42 okay so please check your answers in your workbook Okay, number one, Amar needs a to eat his soup. Okay, so what do you need um, to, to drink your soup? Okay, what do you need um, to drink your soup? So usually we need a bowl. Okay, we need a bowl to drink soup and we also use a spoon. Okay, to, to drink soup okay so here um you can you see the letter a uh here so a uh, a uh here means uh one okay a uh means one so here we need a spoon okay we need a spoon for him to eat his soup number two fatin and naja don't have what to eat their pasta okay so to eat pasta you need to have uh, forks okay to eat pasta you need to have forks so they don't have their forks um, to eat their pasta number three Amin can't cut his chicken without a so to cut chicken you need a knife so you can't cut chicken without a knife number four where are the the omelets are on the table okay so we need something to put the omelets uh, we can use the plates okay so where are the plates Uh, the, the omelets are on the table okay number five there aren't any bowls okay we can use bowls here there aren't any bowls for the ice cream okay so this is for section one okay let's look at section two here we need to listen to an audio clip what did Helen and her mom put in their basket so we listen first and then we take the correct answer. Okay, let's listen. 5. Workbook. Let's play. 2. What did Helen and her mum put in their basket? Listen and tick. So, Helen, what are we going to take with us to the beach? Well, some water for sure. Okay. One bottle of water in the basket. Can we take some orange juice too? Hmm, we haven't got any juice, I'm afraid. That's okay. Let's take some fruit with us then. I put two peaches in the basket. Do you want some kiwis too? No thanks. I love peaches, but I don't really like kiwis. I really like pears, so I put one in the basket. I like pears too. How about some yogurt? We can make some fruit salad. We can't take any yogurt with us. It needs to be in the fridge. Yes, you're right. I took some plastic cups for the water and a knife to cut the fruit with. Do we need any plates? Not really. We don't need plates. Then we're ready. Let's go. Okay, so there you have it. So the things that they are bringing uh, to the beach will be a bottle of water, a pear, two peaches, uh, two cups, all right, two plastic cups, and a knife to cut the fruit. Okay, so please check your answer. Okay, for section C, we just need to write down what we need uh, to make these things. 
For example, if you want to make a carrot cake, uh, you need carrots. Okay, uh, we need carrots, so we can write down carrots. And to make cake, you need um, flour and uh, sugar. Okay, to make cake, you need flour and uh, sugar. Okay, other than that, um, do we need pears? Um, not really, we're making carrot cake, alright? Do we need salt? Um, no, usually carrot cake is sweet, so we don't need salt. Ketchup? Mm, not really, okay? So we only need carrots, uh, flour, and sugar. Okay, next we are making salad. Okay, so to make salad, usually we put lettuce. Okay, so you write a uh, lettuce. Uh, we can put um, tomatoes, no problem. Okay, you put tomatoes in a salad. Um, apples, yes, we can have fruit salads, so we put apples as well. Uh, onion, mm, it depends. Okay, if you like it, then you can put onions. If not, then no. Uh, potato, mm, not really. Okay, so we put lettuce, tomatoes, apples. Fish soup. Okay, to fish, uh, to make fish soup, um, yes, we put fish, right? We put fish in fish soup. Um, onions. Yes, we put onions for fish soup. Um, carrots. Yes, uh, I think so. You can put carrots. Um, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. Looks like eggs to me. Do you want to put eggs in a fish soup? Fish soup? Uh, not really. Chicken? Mm, not really. So we need fish, uh, onions, carrots. Okay. okay. Next, we move on to page 43. Section 1. Read the sentences and put the word OR in the correct place. So when you have OR, that means you have to choose one or another. So number 1. For dinner, you can eat chicken or fish so you can choose which one you want chicken or fish number two we can watch a dvd or play a board game so there are two activities here you can choose from watch a dvd atau play a board game watch a dvd or play a board game number three do you drink seven or eight glasses of water every day so is it seven glasses or eight glasses <clears throat> okay this is how you use or usually when there are two um, items to choose from okay for part two you have to write about what you ate uh, yesterday okay so um, for your breakfast you write down Okay, what do you eat? Okay, whether you drink Milo or eat biscuits or eat bread. You write down your breakfast, your lunch, your snack, and then for and then your dinner. Okay, um, for breakfast, you need to have grains. So you need to write down how much did you eat. If you write, uh, if you eat two, if you eat two slices of bread, then you write down here um, two slices of bread okay if you eat um, three cups of fries or three cups of pasta then you write down here and then you need to do the same for vegetables how much did you eat how much servings did you eat how much uh, fruit did you eat how much milk did you drink or did you eat any yogurt? Okay, you write down here how much you drank, how much you ate, and whether you ate any meat or chicken or fish. Here you need to write down whether you exercise or not. Okay, whether you jump around, you move around, you run around. Write down the duration. If 10 minutes, then you write down 10 minutes here. And then how long you sleep 
every night. If it's 8 hours, then you write 8 hours. So based on this information you have written here, then we will write down a log here. Compare what you had to what you need. So this here is how much you need. Okay, this uh, column here is how much you need to live a healthy life. And then this column over here is what you actually did or what you actually ate. <clears throat> so you write down uh, what do you eat night like yesterday morning. If you had cereals, you write cereals. Okay. For lunch, I had fish, I had chicken, you write it down. After school, uh, what do you have? And then you need to eat more vegetables, fruits, or you don't need to eat chocolate and snacks. In your diary here, your log here, uh, you choose. If you think it's a healthy day, you sleep enough, you eat healthy food, then you choose yesterday was a healthy day. But if, if it's not, you didn't sleep enough, you didn't exercise, you ate a lot of chocolates, then you choose yesterday wasn't a healthy day. Okay, next let's look at page 44. Okay, here we have to complete the crossword um, puzzle here. Okay, number one will be a celebration. So what do you call a celebration? Um, it's called a festival. Okay, festival. So a celebration is called a festival. Number two, they cook in restaurant restaurants now who cook in restaurants that will be the chefs chefs cook in restaurant number three people go there to eat where do we go to eat that will be the restaurants okay we go to the restaurant to eat Okay, next we have to answer the questions and match the answers. Number one, are all carrots orange? Okay, are all carrots orange? Okay, the answer would be B. You usually see orange carrots at the supermarket, but there are purple, white, and yellow carrots too. So the question number one you write here for B. Question 2. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Okay, is it a fruit or a vegetable? Okay, the answer will be C. In science lessons, you learn that it's a fruit. But cooks still call it a vegetable. Now, we usually eat fruit as a dessert. <clears throat> but we eat tomatoes in salads like we do with other vegetables. So in science, it's called a fruit. But the cooks, the chefs, they call it a vegetables. So here we write number two. Number three, what's a banana flower? Answer is the flower of a banana tree. You can eat it like a vegetable in salads or in soups with noodles or with rice. So you can actually eat banana flour. So that will be number 3A. Okay, so here we have the banana flour. Okay, this is how the banana flour looks like. Okay, then you, of course you have the carrots and the tomato. Okay, page 45. Now, Miss Viva asked you to do this yesterday. Okay, let's discuss and check your answers. So this is a revision for this topic. We have a piece of cheese. Uh, number two, we have a glass of milk. Okay, a glass. Um, this will be a bag of crisps. A bag of... Okay, this one, number four, will be a box of cereal. Number five, this is a can of lemonade. A can. Number six, this is a cup of tea. Number seven, a bar of chocolate. Number eight, 
a bottle of water. Number nine, a carton of orange juice. And this will be a bowl of salad. Okay, a bowl of salad. Okay, lastly, um, look at the picture and use there is or there are. So here we have a box of cereal. So you write there is a box of uh, cereal. Okay, what are these? These are knives. So you can write there are Uh, three knives Okay, there are three knives um, What's this? Um, bread Okay, so you can write there is uh, A loaf of bread um, This one we have butter Okay, we can use block of butter. There is a, a block of butter. Uh, next, we have three glasses. So there are three glasses of, um, I don't know what's that. You can put milk. Or water doesn't matter okay there are three glasses of milk or water then lastly we have two plates so there are two plates so remember if there's only one like one box then we use this for singular uh, for butter bread we cannot count so we use this but for plural, we have three here, we use R. We have three glasses, we use R. We have two plates, we use R. On work today, I just want you to finish off your English module. Okay, we have one last, one last page, page four. Uh, this is about writing an email to your new friend. Um, you can write about yourself, your family and your hobby. Okay, so this will be your homework for today. Write an email to your new friend. Okay, talk about yourself, your family, and your hobby. Okay, so um, you can submit it on Google Classroom once completed. That's all for today, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.